So Betfair Scalping is about consistently picking up low risk profits from an active betting exchange market, as you'll see in this example here on the screen in a second. It's a few minutes to the start here, so we've got limited time to act, but what we're doing here is very deliberate. You'll understand why if you've seen the three big scalping mistakes video that's also uploaded to this channel. But around about three minutes to the start of the race, I'm expecting to the activity in the marketplace to pick up considerably. That's why I'm stacking up my stakes there. Now, some people might look at that and have a bit of a heart attack because of the size of them stakes, but we're operating at a very low range in the market here. Trading the favourite, it means that the price is quite stable, it's less likely to move against us drastically. And if it does, hopefully I'll have time to uh, cancel out my position, scratch and cut those losses short whilst letting the profits come towards us in terms of market activity and money flowing into the market. So you can see the numbers flashing up on the side of the book there. You can see just how much money is pouring into this market before the start here. It's because it's quite a, an interesting race. Uh, there's a lot of attention on it. And really, to be quite honest, this one race is all about this favourite. So what I'm trying to do here is tactically manage my betting stakes in the betting exchange market around the price activity. I'm not really worried about finding indicators for price moves on this favourite. I don't think there's really going to be much movement because it is a solid race, a solid favourite. There's a lot of turnover there. It's late on. It's close to the start of the race, as you'll understand more from that free uh, big mistakes video. But I'm just looking to absorb money as it flows into the marketplace. I'm not taking an opinion on where the price is going. And then I'm just reacting um, appropriately at that point in time. So you can see I'm hovering over the, the loss for a couple of ticks there because it sort of bounced around just for a second. That's probably as skittish as it's likely to be in this particular race. Um, so I just want to manage the downside. But what I'm not doing is sitting there like a rabbit in the headlights, getting caught out, hoping the market's going to come back to me if it starts to move. I'm just going to clear out my position. You can see that the market has actually bounced against me there for a few ticks, and I'm still in profit. So I can hedge for four quid or 1.28. Um, or if it goes against me for another tick, then I might lose out a fiver. But there is liquidity in this marketplace for me to get my bets matched against and quite easily too. I'm not overexposed for the situation. It's starting to push a little bit further than I feel comfortable. Or you can see the traded range though previously over on the right with the traded volumes bars there. So I think that we're actually at the extremity here. So it's probably best to be to be back in and there you go. A little bit of liquidity has come back into the market and matched our position. So now I'm in a profit. So but bearing that in mind, that's still at the forefront of my mind. So I'm I'm not gonna overexpose myself and go back on too big at this point in time. I just want to see if this settles down a little bit. Maybe if it comes back a couple more ticks to where it was if it does then I know that my lay stakes are pretty low in the queue there so I'm going to be first in line to get matched I can then top up on the backside just like I am exactly on the screen now and hedge more profit uh, pretty quickly there and if I don't then I just need to close out my position um, respectively so large stake 11 grand just come in there uh, 24 grand match sorry uh, that's taken a couple of stakes that's offset me a little bit although because I've got an average position um, in the marketplace there, I'm still in the profit zone, so I'm not too worried about that. Now, it's getting close to the start, that's the only problem with this particular example, is we're on limited time here, so I'm now sat there, my mouse is hovering over the, the more or less hedge, it's 14p profit still, even if it goes against us for another tick, but we've got massive volumes of money that are propping up the market there, at an extremely short range, it's extremely tight, and you know, to be quite realistic, the price can't carry on getting shorter when you're trading down at that sort of odds range. So it's always a little bit more preferable to be on the lay side of the book. But I'm just looking, you know, if another one of those 24 grand matches comes in, I'm going to be dumping that position 1.26 as quick as possible. Although I think it's quite likely, given the market activity um, in this particular situation, it, that my back stake is going to be matched and I'm going to be able to hedge up for a profit here. However, you know, you should bear in mind that a lot of this is actually done before the race even starts because it's knowing the situation. If I'd started too early, I could have overexposed myself. If I was staking like this when there wasn't enough money coming into the marketplace, I would have exposed myself. But I'll save that for that other video that's uploaded on this channel about the three biggest scalping mistakes. So check that one out. We'll leave that in the end screen for you here. It's, it's taken a little while to get this stake matched, but I do believe in this particular recording, this stake was matched. And it was a case of tracking the price up and down and managing my position effectively within the marketplace um, while there's that peak liquidity to absorb. And that's what scalping's about without taking opinion. We're not directional scalping in this particular example. We're just looking to absorb the market's money 
pure scalping. And there you are, 33 pound, 54 pence profit. So remember to subscribe to the channel to see more Betfair trading uploads and check out the three biggest mistakes the Betfair traders make when scalping here in the end screen. They get so many traders in an emotional mess, it's unreal. I'll see you next time.